So this is why seven eight nine seven eight nine one two three. I will be teaching how to solve a two by two by two Rubik's cube. It looks pretty easy, but if you're trying to figure it out, it is definitely not that easy. Just, but after you know how to solve it, it is definitely a lot easier than the three by three. So it could help if you know how to solve the three by three. But like if you're a beginner and you just want to solve this one because it's got less cubes, it, it it's pretty hard, but it would make it ten times easier if you know how to solve the three by three. But we're just gonna carry on. So I'm gonna teach you about algorithms, um, notations, and uh, things that I will be saying during this video that you will need to know. First, we'll start with notations. This is the front side the upside, the downside, the right side, the left side, and the back side. Pretty intuitive, pretty simple. Now, notations are like, the f if I say front, you turn the front side clockwise as if you're facing it. Like front, right, left, up, and then back. Okay, now when I say front inverted, you move the front side counterclockwise as if you were facing it. So, front inverted, right inverted, left inverted, up inverted, down inverted, back inverted. So, um, that those are the notations. Now I'm going to teach you about algorithms. Algorithms are basically. A sequence of moves when done a certain amount of times or just one time it puts something in some part of the cube but leaves the rest of the cube alone so um for example a right inverted down inverted right down algorithm um a pretty nice algorithm you will be using to solve the first layer i'll be saying what the first layer means after this so right inverted down inverted right down looks like this right inverted down inverted right down now when you do that six times it returns the cube to when started it, when you started this algorithm that was one right inverted down inverted right down two right inverted down inverted right down three right inverted down inverted right down four right inverted down inverted right down five right inverted down inverted right down six so and then it should have come back to normal if, if you haven't solved it yet then it would come back to the way it was scrambled when you started that. Now, like I said, there are going to be a few, there are going to be basically two things that I'll be saying. Well, three things actually. The first, t the first side, the first layer, and um, purple and orange. So if you notice, I don't have an orange on this cube. I've got red and purple, yellow, white, blue, green, but no orange. So, if you hear me saying purple instead of orange, that would mean that because I have an East King cube, I don't have orange. I have purple in place of orange. So, if I say purple, it means orange if you've got a regular Rubik's cube. Okay, and then the first layer. Um, let me show you what that is. Hold on. I'm just going to scramble real fast. So our first layer is this. This is the first layer. When you solve the top side and the colors around it, just like that. Now this is the first side, and there's a big difference. So the first side, let's do it. Probably, if you've been messing around with the cube a lot, you know how to solve the first side already. This is the first side, when you got the top side done, but the sides aren't lined up. So, I'm just going to get this out of the way, and we are going to solve this cube. So, let's scramble. Now, we are, are going to solve the first layer, not the first side. Keep that in mind, which is why it would be a little easier if you know how to solve the 3x3. Three if you already know how to solve the first side, 
I mean first layer, just skip this. So we'll start with um, this side. We'll start with the green whites. This top side. So now we're gonna need to find a piece to put right here. A white and blue piece. Any piece with white and blue on it. Here it is, it's right here, right blue. So we're just gonna line that up like this. So then you bring it under and then you're gonna use the right inverted, down inverted, right down algorithm to get it up here. Right inverted, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right. And then I'm just gonna like that. Then you should they should line up like that. Now we're gonna find a white and purple piece. I mean white and orange to put right here. Here, here it is. So I'm gonna bring it down. White and orange right and orange. White and orange, or white purple. So I'm gonna do right right down, right, right down. And carry on doing that to get into place. And remember, you always have to put the piece under where you wanna put it before you start the algorithm. So here, white, green, red, white, green, red. So we're gonna bring it under and do that algorithm. Okay, now you should have solved the first layer. First layer, see? Now we're gonna flip the cube. Now, you should learn the color scheme of your cube. If it's a regular Rubik's cube, two by two, it would be green opposite blue, yellow opposite white, and orange opposite red. I have um, an East Sheen Rubik's cube, so instead of red opposite orange, it's red opposite purple. So, opposite white is most of the time yellow. So, in order to do this, you hold it one side. I'm going to do with the blue side facing me. And you're going to flip the cube over. The blue side facing me. And I'm going to put the yellow piece in the bottom right, bottom left hand corner. Right here. Like this. If it's one dot. Then I'm going to do the algorithm. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Wow. Um, now I can just do it, and then I can just do a regular turn to solve the cube. But um, let's say I'm in a different case. Now this is a case where the blue is in the front, and then white is opposite yellow, so you have an orange bar right here touching each other. If this is the case, you turn it so that the bar is in the back, and then you do that algorithm. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Now, if there's none of the opposite colors on the top, just do that algorithm again. Right, up, right, inverted, up, right, up, up, right, inverted. Now I got the bar again, I'm gonna put it in the back. Right, up, inverted, up, right, up, up, right, inverted. Now I got the little dot, so I put it in the bottom left-hand corner. Got the dot again, I'm gonna put it right there. This is all about repetition. Okay, now I have the yellow side, but not the yellow layer. Um, I will show one last exam one last case you can possibly have when doing that part of the cube. So this is the last case you can possibly have when trying to solve the last the last side. And that's when the colors are diagonally, like this. If that's the case, you turn them so it looks like this. Then you do that algorithm. Right up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. I'm gonna carry on doing that. Now they're in a bar, so I put them in the back. Now it's in a dot, so I put it on the, this bottom left-hand corner. Okay, now I got the first side. Now you're gonna have two things. You're gonna have a bar lining up, but I don't, so then you're gonna, you're gonna listen to what I have to say later. If you do, you put it in the left side, and then you do this algorithm. If you don't, you hold it anyway. Then you do left inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up, left inverted, up, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up, up, right, left, left. And then if you didn't have it in a bar, it should open up a bar. If you did, you have a few more turns and you would have solved the cube. So I'm going to put the bar in the left hand side. And then left inverted, up inverted, right inverted, up, left inverted. Up, up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up, up, right, left, left, and then you should be a few more turns, and you have solved the two by two by two Rubik's cube. Thanks for this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my videos.